drinks menu at a Dubai club has sparked outrage. So the full Ramadan special offer was shared on X and the resulting comments show people are insulted by the post. Uh, during the holy month in previous years, some entertainment business closed in the UAE, while others like licensed prem- premises, premises and bars were permitted to remain open with certain uh, restrictions in place. These restrictions typically included low, no live music and minimal entertainment for Ramadan. So just to clarify, a menu was released uh, highlighting Ramadan special offers. However, it was a drinks menu at a club. And a lot of people are, mm-hmm. I think, just surprised and a little bit insulted by the fact that the menu was released to include drinks on it. And mm-hmm. when we talk about mm-hmm. drinks, we're talking about beverages. Yeah. Um, well, I agree and disagree. Uh, m- m- may people feel that insulted because it's in the, like, the Ramadan menu. But does this menu go to everyone inside this place? Right. Yeah. So, so it's a template. So I think, it, in my case, I wouldn't get very offended towards it because um, each place you go to, you get to choose the right thing or do the wrong thing based on your religion, based on your beliefs. But in, in my point of view, um, I see that people can somehow see it um, in, in, in a rude way or something. But I, I don't agree with that because uh, you, you have it everywhere. You know, you get like drinks and beverages everywhere. Uh, you get to choose outside Ramadan or during Ramadan. Uh, to be fair, uh, in, in, in the Islam religion, drinking is forbidden across whole year, across your whole life. So uh, you, if you're going to get upset that it's there during the, the holy month of Ramadan, no, you should be upset that it's there always. You know, well, I think that maybe it was a design flaw by the venue, but it's because it says... you know, a special offer menu for the holy month and then mm-hmm. includes deals, quite surprising deals that you can get, you know, five drinks for this amount or this you, and this for this yes, amount. Yes, 100%. You, you, you won't be able to do two menus because you won't know who's sitting on the table. Is he Muslim or not? You know, mm. uh, as I, I see it on, on the other specific, like I'm putting my, my leg in other people's shoe. I got you. Uh, if Casey's is. sitting, I don't know if she's, if what your nationality is, what religion she is. So I, which menu do I give her? You know, mm. it's, it's different, but I think people are just like uh, having perspective upon that. Uh, uh, but as I mentioned, if, if it's going to disturb you, it should always disturb you because the actual thing is forbidden, not only during Ramadan in, in, as a Muslim in general, all your life. Well, I do uh, like your perspective on mm-hmm. it. It differs wildly to the people who commented on Love and Divine Instagram yesterday. Um, you've taken quite a diplomatic approach, a very fair approach. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people are saying... Um, many of expats need to learn to respect the culture and to behave, especially in Ramadan. Um, I was shocked. Uh, I think people are shocked to see the changing tides mm-hmm. um, of how, uh, and there was a great video on TikTok a couple of days ago of how, you know, five years ago in the UAE, we would not drink water outside. And But I think it's still, people should, even though that has changed, we still need to respect. Yes. So <laughs> I try and eat most of my meals in yeah, the canteen. Yeah, yeah you, you do that. But t- to be fair, the person who respects, he respects himself before respecting the person in front of him. And as I told you, because um, you, you, you see it abroad, you will go to like the, um, you will go like to restaurants and you'll see like ham and pork. Um, it's, it's a part of a deal. I told you, I can't do two menus and just think, uh, and I can't have a guest entering the shop and asking. True, but they shouldn't use the word Ramadan on the menu. I think they just made a specific menu for this month and that's what most of restaurants and cafes do uh, during this uh, season and then mm. during this month. So it, it has to be something like special. So you would do like an offer across everything. Mm. Uh, Very it seems approach. tricky. It seems tricky. I know. And some people might feel like, you know, like respect. I, I totally agree 100%. But always put your leg on the other guy's shoe, you know. Yeah. That's a really strong view. Could the audience hear that? Can you put, can you, can the audience hear that, Ali, please? Yeah, out loud. Well, could. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's probably less cultural awareness. Yeah, exactly. 
I think it's an oversight and I think it should be rectified, in my opinion.